You've got to love opera. You've got to. Because it's one of the most amazing forms of music in the world. Full of passion, full of emotion. And I thought that today we was going to be doing an opera shootout. And today we're going to be having a look at two fantastic pens by Visconti. You know I'm a Visconti fan, but these two, these two are very dear to me, both of them. Um, we're going to be talking about the opera elements versus the opera crystal. Um, is it an entirely honest comparison? No, the uh, um, crystal is quite a bit more expensive, but even so, the opera elements is one of my favorite performers. A wonderful pen. Um, Okay, so what is special about these pens? Well, for me, what's special is that the Opera Crystal was the first serious pen I bought with a gold nib and, you know, that kind of stuff, celluloid, it's, it's something I really like. And I, I, I'm yet to meet the person who says, oh, that's a really ugly pen, because the finish is just amazing. If you've never seen it up close, uh, then you probably haven't seen a whole lot of my videos, because I, I show this one quite a lot, but this is just, I mean, seriously. You cannot say that this is not stunning. Okay, so we have this, and then we have the crystal. Um, I'll start with this one. I have separate reviews of the two pens on my channel. You can check those out if you want a more in-depth view. Um, start with the Opera Elements. Uh, they came in four colors. There was red, black, blue, and brown. Earth, wind, water, I believe, and fire. Uh, this is the fire version. I just loved it. You've just seen this stuff up close. It's wonderful celluloid. It's like marble. It is amazing. You have these beautiful highlights. You have the Visconti spring with that, uh, sorry, clip with that, that spring. Some people don't like this arch. I love it. And it says Visconti on there. I think it's beautiful. And one of the best parts of this pen for me is the nib. This is a lot of nib. 14 karat gold, springy, pleasant to use, responsive, smooth, just fantastic. I'm going to show you that again, just because I love it so much. A lovely two-tone, look at all the detail. It's a big nib, it's not small, it's perfect, it fits the pen. I love it. The pen is a cartridge converter pen, nothing too fancy. You can slip in uh, Visconti cartridges, which I believe are standard international uh, nipple shapes. Now you have this converter. Converter is screw-in, lovely, because that means you won't accidentally pull it out and make ink fly everywhere. Has a decent capacity, holds a nice bit of ink. Uh, it's not a small converter. Uh, even so, I run out of ink very quickly. I can write someone one letter and this is empty, because it's a nice wet nib. As I said, bit of spring. You'll see that in the uh, disassembly part of the video, and then, of course, in the writing part. Okay, and then you have this beautiful system that will make the cap click into place. It's like a half-turn thing. usually confuses people if they've never seen it, but the beauty of that is this is for part of the uh, uh, circling the square, squaring the circle. I always mix that up. Never mind. Visconti has something like that. Circling the square, I think. Okay, so this has a square profile, but the edges are rounded off, so it's like a square circle, you know? Um, and because there's this beautiful mechanism in the cap, they always align perfectly, so the flat bits all align. Fantastic. This is craftsmanship. Okay, now I'm just reaching around because I need to grab something, which I forgot to grab before. Here we go. Okay. Opera Crystal. Beautiful pen, has that same mechanism in the cap, also square with edges rounded off. Big pen, I mean, the, the crystal, uh, sorry, the elements is not a small pen, but, you know, it's a normal size pen. If you want to, you can post it, then it gets pretty big. Um, I don't usually post this pen. Now, the Opera Crystal, that's a whole different ballgame. I mean, this is a serious pen. Um, it's big, it's heavy, 50 grams uninked, a lot of chrome. This is not a gold nib, this is not a palladium nib, this is a chromium nib. Um, very interesting to use, nice stub, very wet, 
Uh, I wouldn't call this particularly flexy, but it's 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 a very wet, nice nib to use. Uh, the chromium 18 is a new material Visconti is experimenting with, um, and this pen is a power filler, Visconti power filler. And what that means is that you uh, there's a little bit of water, and I have to be a little careful. You unscrew this bit. Let me see if I can make the focus for you. I have a, a shootout called pens that suck. I explain more about it there, but what you do is you just pull this back. And then when you push this back, you put that in the ink, you create a vacuum, and ink is just drawn up in there automatically, which is a beautiful thing to behold. You can sort of hear a pop there. Um, and not just that, to make things easier, Visconti has included their mosquito filling system with this, which is what I was just grabbing. Uh, it looks like this, it's a, a little uh, macabre. Um, you slide that on there. And then you get something that really looks quite disturbing. So ballpoint users, I always like to scare them a bit and approach them like this. Uh, and then they, uh, especially if there's red ink in there, it's, it's kind of disturbing. Um, the beauty of this thing is that you stick it in an ink bottle. And you don't get ink on the section. And you can get the last drops of ink from your bottle. Wonderful system. Um, it's a little bit hard to clean, this. Because there's a sort of rubber-like stuff in there uh, which you can't really see probably doesn't really matter but this is a little hard to clean but it, it works it works perfectly well um, so there you have the pen a big pen lovely pen I love using it super smooth nib and um, it's just very very cool here we have the two side by side as you can see the Opera Crystal is definitely the bigger pen um, uncapped Definitely the bigger pen, the crystal. Fantastic. Two superb pens. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take them apart as far as possible with the crystal that's a little bit... I, I cannot remove the whole piston. I probably don't want to do that either. Just to make sure I keep all the seals intact. And um, then we'll do a writing sample. How about that? So uh, I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, the two operas, Opera Elements and Opera Crystal. The Opera Elements is the easiest to disassemble. Um, screw out the converter, make sure that piston is about halfway down there, and then take this metal ring. It looks like it's one piece, but actually this is the turning knob and this is the ring. Just unscrew that. I mean, I suppose it is one piece to the extent that it's... I don't think you can actually separate the two. But I mean, it's not this bit if you, you can't really unscrew it there. Okay, pull out the actual piston. Um, I would probably add some silicon grease there just because it's a little bit slow to move today. Um, spread that out a bit. Okay, put that back in smoother screw that back in place if you want to put a little bit of silicon grease there for a good seal right now it's fine now this operates smoothly just the way I like it I'm just gonna leave that out for a sec uh, now what you can do is just grab your nib put your thumb on there pull them out of this section big feet big nib um, and uh, that's all that's to it clean them see see why that is useful Actually, some still some blue ink in there. That's why I like to take my pens apart once in a while. Anyway, put them back in. Only one way. There's a little bit area that's a little bit wider on top there. A little narrower at the bottom. That's where the feed goes. And the wider part is obviously where the nib goes. There you go. Screw that back in place. Now we have the crystal. The crystal is uh, harder to disassemble. Um, I'm sure that in some way it's probably possible to unscrew that bit. But um, I'm not trying. Because this looks, I mean, this is celluloid. I just, I'm not going to go there. But I'm sure that there are some handy people out there who can do it. Um, if you have any tips, then let me know. But as you can see, there are threads in there, so you must be able to unscrew this somehow. 
but this is not a $20 pen so I'm not going to go too far in experimentation here at least not now maybe at some point I'll go nuts and we'll try that anyway the nib and feed this unit screws out put it on your finger put your thumb on there unscrew the pen and you got your very interesting tubular nib which you can slide off the feed like that you see that whoops it's a tubular nib very fascinating once you're done you got that service you slide this back in there carefully you don't put it in too far carefully you don't put it in not far enough both will not be good for your ink flow something like that looks good to me it doesn't stick out there good and you screw that back in place there is a nib collar uh, which is in there uh, with a, a proper screwdriver or oh, I, I, I happen to have this weird little tool which is not ideal but it works as you can see you can screw that out Put a little bit of silicon grease there why is that useful well that's useful because now this is just a big tube You see that so if you want to clean anything you could for example take a tissue roll it up not too tightly put it in there you see there's a big drop of water there put this in here twirl it around a bit and you know dry stuff off or I don't know maybe use a q-tip there's probably some things you can uh, think of and that's impossible when that um, nib color is in place as you can see it's closed off at that end once you've done that you can just screw it back in place pretty much with your hands and then for the final twists I always use that little key thing uh, which uh, of course you don't want to over tighten anything it is plastic it will crack put that back in place and I think this is all you need for servicing now sometimes it can be a little bit annoying as you can see or maybe maybe you can see there is still water in there and it's a little bit reddish so I should probably flush this a couple more times to, to you know fill this properly uh, or clean it properly but for me for now this is okay so um, let's ink up these pens I need to grab the ink I know which ink I'm going to use uh, it's not my regular ink for ink cyclopedias I, oh sorry for um, the shootouts I always like to use uh, water in Florida blue or some simple blue ink but uh, I'm shooting another shootout today with a pen that was already inked up so today we'll be using Conway Stewart Edgecombe um, or Edgecombe um, this is a relabeled diamine ink I don't know the original diamine name right now but that's what we'll be using today a nice dark purple I think you like it um, let's first do the opera elements Okay, <coughs> and then of course you want to see that mosquito filler thing in action so I'm going to slide that onto the pen uh, make sure you align the imprint of the nib with the imprint of the mosquito filler system they specifically warn you to do that and I thought it was ridiculous because it's a completely round thing if you try to put it in the other way around it does it is a bit more difficult so apparently there is something in there unscrew this bit pull the piston all the way back and we're going to see what happens um, I tried to angle this so that you can see the ink reservoir there push down push down push down look at that nice little ink I'll squeeze that out fill it again boom sometimes you got to do it a couple of times and what you have in here right now is I can promise you a lot of ink um, I'm just gonna take out that bottle here we go and as you can see whoops there is ink in there there is ink on the nib but there is no ink on the section if you see anything that's just reflections um, so that's quite cool I like that nice system okay let's do a writing sample opera elements it's going to the opera elements. Yeah. The quick brown fox jumps 
over something. Smooth, pleasant to use, responsive, wet nib. Lovely. Visconti. Opera. Crystal. Wet. Stub. Lovely. 1.3 millimeter stub. Lovely to use. Now I want to know about wetness. One, two, three, four, five. Still wet. One, two, three, four, five. Still wet. Now this is spring. And with the chromium nib, I think we're going to get a little bit less of that. Oh, hello. But of course, it's the stubs. We will have some line variation to start with. Two fantastic pens, the very big Opera Crystal and the not exactly small Opera Elements. Two pens I love, uh, two pens that are not cheap, but two pens for which you get value for your money, at least in my humble opinion. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>